Once again, our story began at the Astral Academy, where young wizards from all over the world gathered to learn magic. Students at the Academy were learning their basic spells under the guidance of the great wizards. They were to master their old spells before earning new ones for their spell books. It was time for yet another spell test. What's going on YouTube? This is Freshman. I'm checking in with you guys for another uh, another video, uh, online video for you guys. I, right this moment I'm actually playing Nine Parchments. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, one of the things I wanted to cover is pretty much a, a, a good walkthrough, a good long walkthrough of uh, the game pretty much. Um, so I got some video of me uh, going here. And um, so basically, uh, if you haven't played this game, download it, uh, install it, buy it, whatever you gotta do to get it uh, under your grabs. This game is really cool. A friend of mine introduced me to it. Um, and basically, it's to me, in my opinion, it's like the closest thing you're gonna get to a good feeling of. I guess playing as Harry Potter, those of you who are like Harry Potter fans, this is probably right up your you alley. Um, I don't want, I don't mean to compare the two of them too, too much, but uh, this game is actually, to me it gives me a feeling of playing as a you know, young wizard or uh, witch or whatever, but uh, yeah, so, and yeah, first level here is pretty simple. Most of you guys have probably already ran through That's it pretty quick. It, all, you're, all you're doing is just uh, running through. Um, you, you're fighting so you're pretty much uh, Academy's mystical target practicing against a couple of targets. The um, then you go into this cutscene here. Um, in all this chaos, and however, then the clever young next you actually move over to the the actual level where you're actually study. in the field and you're actually all doing battle. To do was to go out and collect spells until and they had we'll all get to that in just a moment. Okay, so for starters, this is the uh, this is actually level two here. It's called the Sand in Your Shoes. <laughs> Each t uh, level actually has its own title, basically. Um, whatever the, the designers decided to, to name each level. Um, so yeah, uh, the character I'm playing with is actually Cornelius the Cornflower. Um, he's <laughs> he's pretty cool. He's a uh, I guess a young this must lad. Be the craziest and he's, uh, thing I've ever done. Trying to practice uh, spell book wizardry Check. and Clean gain uh, the parchments which are Bunch spells to uh, to become Travel stronger guides. and more adapt in his, uh, in his field of behind. study. The storyline's pretty uh, pretty simple actually. Um, you run through the uh, I think it's about 32 levels of the uh, the game, but uh, throughout the game you're you're basically just searching for the parchments and uh, every parchment that you get uh, it goes into your your spell repertoire and you're able to uh, basically uh, adapt those spells and start using them under your uh, under your arsenal basically. Um, start the game out with, you start out with about three spells. Each character starts out with three spells. Um, depending on which version of the character that you chose, that'll determine which uh, which set of spells you'll start with. Um, as you go throughout the game, you'll unlock new characters, and when you unlock the characters, you'll get um, char characters who have different uh, sets of spells that are unique to that character. Uh, some spells, in my opinion, are more useful than others. <laughs> um, I particularly love Cornelius the Cornflower because he's actually probably the, in my opinion, his spells are probably the most uh, direct in terms of damage. So um, I actually beat the game with him first, um, and then I think Gizlon was the second character that I started going through. I think I've unlocked. I've, um, I'm almost pretty much done maxing out my character levels. Um, each character can max out at a level at a maximum of level uh, 60. But 
uh, I think for starters you you can only go up to I think it was uh, level 40 um, and then after uh, level 40 you have to actually do whatever requirement is required to unlock the uh, gilded characters and after you unlock the gilded characters you can actually progress to uh, level 60 which is an additional 20 levels uh, they're useful uh, you over time you can actually uh, up your stats and uh, gain more abilities and uh, the cool. to use these uh, we're almost through this level actually uh, this one's actually a pretty quick one pretty easy um, as you can see you just basically getting in the hang of how to use your skills uh, uh, finding out different different uh, techniques to, to fighting and everything um, one thing I do want to talk about though is, uh, is the attributes actually uh, so there's let's see one two three four five I think six different uh, attributes so you have basically electricity, uh, fire, ice, death, light, and steam. Um, steam, in my opinion, I haven't really, it's not really the most useful, but it does have its own strengths uh, in, in itself, basically. Uh, but yeah, so like, basically every, uh, every monster has like an attribute and uh, you have to attack them with an attribute that is different than the current attribute of the monster. Otherwise, you'll get a message or you'll get a sign that pops up on the character that says immune, which means that the character that the monster can't actually take damage from that attribute. Um, and certain attributes, it's almost like uh, playing like Pokemon in a way. Um, certain Pokemon would be weak to certain attributes, and in that case, that uh, that idea actually translates to this. To this game here because um, in nine parchments basically uh, let's see if you you're fighting an ice monster I uh, for example what I'm doing here uh, ice monsters uh, they're weak to fire as you can see they'll take additional damage from the fire and fire monsters are actually uh, weak against ice which is pretty uh, ironic <laughs> Um, I believe, let's see, death monsters will be weak against life attacks, um, and there might be another one there that I'm not covering right now, but, anywho, uh, so yeah, that was a pretty quick walkthrough, uh, for levels 1 and 2 there, uh, I'll be doing more videos, um, in the future as well, and we'll get into more of, uh, the stat of the uh, the equipment that I'm using, and also the uh, the status effects that I'm using as well. So, if you like the video, uh, if you want to see more of them, uh, please be sure to subscribe. And thanks, peace. See you guys next time.